हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन आई एम पिनल राणा एंड आई एम अ टी ए फॉर द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फाइव बी विच इज स्ट्रीट नेट मेजरमेंट बाय ऑटोकॉलीमेटो इन द प्रेजेंट स्लाइड आई हैव सोन द कंटेंट ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट वी विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन इन विच आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्ट्रीटनेस दैन डिफरेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट through which we can measure the straightness and application or instead of application we can also say that what is the need for the straightness measures for there is a need for the straightness measurement then we will see the experimental procedure procedure followed by the experimental setup result and conclusion at last i will give two question as a assignment and during this presentation i also try to answer those questions figure on your right shows the laser source with target generally laser travel in a straight line but what happen when the mounted bed itself is in north straight in that particular case the laser will not hit the target and it may deflect from its target in that case they it might lead to some big disaster it might lead or lead to some big disaster in the present slide i have defined the straightness and different non destructive methods to measure it straightness is a condition where an element of a surface or an edge is in exactly a straight line higher straightness of any instrument leads to the higher cost of that particular instrument for measuring straightness generally three methods are used first one is autocollimeter for measuring straightness of a large surface second and third is dial gauge and spirit level for measuring straightness of a small surface today we are going to use autocollimeter for the measurement of straightness so our main objective so our main objective is to inspect the straightness of a machine bed using autocollimeter now i explain the working principle of autocollimeter autocollimeter is working work on two basic principle first one is the project and the refraction of a parallel beam of light by a lens second is the change in the direction of a reflected angle on a plane reflected angle on a plane reflecting surface with a change in a angle of incident okay. so hello everyone Today we are going to perform experiment experiment number five B, measurement of flatness of lathe bed using autocollimeter. So first question, why we require a flat bed? So, ah, uh, in lathe, on flat bed, a uh, lathe carriage is mounted, and by movement of lathe carriage, various operations such as parting, taper turning, step turning, grooving, various operations can be performed. So if This flat bed is not perfectly flat. In that case, uh, the move, uh, carriage movement is also not linear, and which affects the operation, and subsequently it affects the geometry that is generated. So now let me explain the working principle of autocollimeter. So this is a monochromatic light source. Here, if you see over here, the light is passing through this, and Uh, here is the one mirror. At the bottom side of the mirror is perfectly reflective, and top side of the mirror is uh, transparent. And this is a lens. So the monochromatic light is passing through this lens, is incident over here and reflected back. So if this bed is not perfectly flat, then uh, the incident light and reflected light will make one angle. So we are going to measure that angle using this autocollimeter. and that angle is converted into distance using l is equal to r theta 
and we can measure the flatness of the lathe pad. Now let me explain how we can measure the angle using autocollimator. So if you observe in this lens, can you please show it over here? If you observe over here, you can see the cross uh, and below this cross there is a calibration is uh, given in minutes. So what we can do, uh, the, this horizontal line So over here, uh, now I, I will explain how this uh, cross is produced in this particular lens. So at this particular location, one mirror is there, at the bottom side of the mirror is perfectly reflective and top side of the mirror is perfectly transparent. So when the monochromatic light is incident on this mirror, when the light is incident on the bottom side of the mirror, is reflected on the upper direction and create a horizontal line over here and the light that is incident on the upper side of the mirror is transferred to, through this lenses incident on this perfectly reflected mirror and again reflected back in this particular direction which create a vertical line over here that's how you will see the cross in this particular lenses so now let me explain over here so this is a calibration in minute so this is suppose 11, this is 10, this is 9, 8, 7. So I have shown you the horizontal and vertical line in the autocollimator. Now let me explain how we can measure the reading using that horizontal and vertical line. So on the horizontal line, calibration is calibration in minute is given and vertical line can be used to measure the uh, reading in seconds. So over here you can see one cross in the center. So this is this reading will give uh, give some idea that this is this reading is 10 minute and 7 seconds. So how we can measure the reading in seconds? So in the in the autocollimeter, this dial is dial gauge is shown. In here you can see the readings or calibration in seconds. So by giving a rotation of this uh, dial in clockwise direction this vertical line is moved in this particular direction so by shifting this vertical line in to nearest uh, decimal we can measure the readings in seconds so our first reading is 10 minutes and 56 seconds so we have already taken our first reading now in order to take a second reading in order to take a second reading, we have to move this clock meter and this mirror we have to move at the second position. So we have marked different position in this particular band. Now this is our uh, by, uh, by default first position and now we have to move it to the second position. So now the monochromatic light incident on this mirror and reflected back over here. So we can take our reading from this and we can uh, write down our second reading from this uh, dial and this lens and for the remaining subsequent reading we have to move this mirror in this forward direction and then again come back so in forward direction we will get a different reading and the reverse direction we will get a different reading so now we have all the readings and how we can convert these readings now we have different readings at eight different readings in the forward direction and eight different readings in the reverse direction so how we can convert the, these readings into the fly, uh, flatness that i have already explained in the presentation now let me explain the procedure for the experiment first we need to turn on the light its source and set the reflecting mirror on the first position so that light passing through autocollimeter, hit the mirror that is mounted on the pad and deflected back to the autocollimeter. On the autocollimeter, calibration is there so we can easily note down the angle between incident and reflected tree. The observed reading is in minute or in minute and seconds. So we need to convert this minute and seconds into distance 
therefore we have to we have, we have to use simple formula which is arc length is equal to theta into radius in our case this arc length is the variation in the straightness the formula for converting angle into distance is shown here 1 second of arc is equal to 2 pi divided by 360 into 3600 radian and our length of base is 110 mm so 1 second of arc is equal to 2 pi divided by 360 into 3600 whole into 110 mm which is equal to 0 0.0005 mm and when we convert this value into micron then it will become 0.5 micrometer after note down the first result we need to shift our reflecting mirror by baseline which is equal to 110 mm then same procedure we need to repeat from left to right and right to left in order to cover whole area in in order to uh, get the uh, observation reading at each and every point in the present slide i have shown the observation table first column is for the different position in our experiment we are going to use nine different positions in both the direction forward and reverse so in our experiment this is our zeroth position this is first second third fourth fifth sixth seven and eight same way uh, this is for the forward bias same way in the river uh, reverse pass uh, this is our zeroth position this is our first position sorry this is our eighth position this is seventh this is six five four three two one and zero so in that this way we get the uh, two reading for each position one for forward bias one for forward pass and second for reverse pass during forward and reverse pass our observed reading is in minute and seconds so we need to convert this reading into micrometer so first we convert this minute in, and second into the one particular unit which is second so 12 minute and 41 second is converted into second which is 761 second so it is basically 12 into 16 plus 41 which is 761 same way i have converted all these forward pass results into second and all these reverse pass result into seconds after uh, calculating the results in second uh, we have a uh, two different reading at one particular position so in order to simplify the problem we are going to average this value so this is this column is basically average of forward and reverse pass so 761 plus 790 divided by 2 which is 775.5 after obtaining this column we need to find the error or a variation in the straightness in order to do so we are going to different we are going to subtract the first reference value from each reading so this is our reference value 775.5 so 775.5 minus this value which is equal to 0 then 713.25 minus 775.5 is minus 62.25 this way i subtracted 775.5 value from all these uh, values and this is the column that we obtain now this variation in the straightness is in second but we need to convert this value into the distance so in the previous slide i have explained how we can convert our angle into the uh, distance so for that we just we just need to multiply this second data by multiply with 0.5 and then final we we get we will obtain uh, the reading in a micrometer so 
this is 62.25 into 0.5 which is minus 31.125 same way i have converted uh, this second data into micrometer now this ninth column is for the different positions so zeroth position at 0 mm first position is at 110 mm because our length of this length of base mirror is 110 mm that's why i have add 110 mm in each row and this column is obtained now in order to calculate the cumulative rise and fall i have did the cumulative summation of this eighth column so 0 plus 0 is 0 then 0 plus minus 31.125 is minus 31.125 then uh, in minus 31.125 my plus minus 56.125 which is minus 87.25 this way i obtain this column and at last uh, in order to fix the first and last value in the one particular line we have adjust this reading such a way that the first and last value should be zero so in order to do so this value is is adjusted using uh, this multiplier so for first value we are going to multiply with zero by eight for the second value we are going to multiply with 1 by 8 for third value uh, 2 by 8 and goes on after that adjusting this value uh, we need to find the error or variance in the straightness so in order to calculate the straightness variation we are we have to subtract the tenth cumulative rise and fall value from the adjusted value so if you subtract this adjusted if you adjust the cumulative rise and fall value from the adjustment our final column error column will uh, we can able to find which is the variation in the straightness after calculate after creating this table we can easily plot the graph so this on the graph this x-axis is the cell 1 which is so is which shows the position 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and for y uh, axis we have taken two different values one is the straight uh, straight line which is represent column number which is represent column number 9 which is a positions 0 110 2 2 0 3 3 0 this value and uh, for uh, sorry this uh, straight line represents the cell number 10 cumulative rise and fall and uh, this cell number 11 so uh, this uh, this line shows the cell number 11 uh, in a uh, zone in the uh, table over here and after adjusting this value uh, uh, to this first and last value we have adjusted to zero so this graph is uh, just uh, rotated by some angle and final graph is shown over here so this graph is uh, cell 1 versus cell 12 which is shown over here this when we plot the cell 1 with versus cell 12 graph so that is our final graph and here we can uh, comment that there is uh, some variation in our straightness so here are the two questions for the assignment first one is name at least one method to measure straightness and compare with autocollimeter so i already uh, talked about two methods one is dial gaze and second is autocollimeter and third method i have just give an idea about it what is it so you can go through that third method uh, understand and explain uh, try to answer this question and second is a very straightforward simple question what is the relation between the linear displacement and gratitude image in the eyepiece plan 
plane and the reflector tilt i think it is very easy question to answer i hope you can do that thank you